welcome back to Drawing for Kids. To start off, let's go over what material you'll need. You'll need some Crayola markers, which you can use any color markers that you like. Next, you also need some paper. In addition to that, you'll need some black markers, such as Sharpies. Okay, so as I'm going along, I'll go step by step on how to draw this character, but I really like to invite you to add your own little twist to it to make it your own. There's no pressure to necessarily draw exactly what I have, but let's use that as a guidance to see what we can come up with. As always, remember to add in a little bit of your imagination to make it your own. You can do this drawing with your family and friends, and at the end of it, maybe check out how everybody's drawing turn out at the very end. Are you ready? So, we're gonna get started. I am doing a very quick drawing today. If you're looking just to get some warm up for drawing and nothing too complicated, you will love this video today because I'm doing Gigi, the cat from Kiki's Delivery Service from Studio Ghibli. All you will need is a black marker for this entire drawing because it's going to be a black cat. Starting off, I'm going to do Gigi's ears, two pointed ears. And then there's two circles here, first one here, and then a second one for Gigi's other eye. Just two round circles. And then I am going to do a nose for Gigi, just leaving in that white space. It's like an upside down triangle. And then here is the rest of the face, which I'll color in Gigi later entirely in black. So if you make any mistakes in between there, that's completely fine. I think Gigi is just like a wonderful character. You kind of just start out drawing, uh, given that it is just a general shape and it's like just a black cat. You don't need too much material for it. However, if you want to make it a little bit more creative, you could use another color and just make Gigi purple, green, or any color that's your favorite choice. As you can see, it's not perfect, but I'm going to color in the inside anyways. Here is Gigi's pupils that I'll draw in. Of course, at this point, you make it a little bit more creative. You can have one eye winking, you can have one big eye, one small eye, maybe like a sleepy Gigi. So there's a couple options, but make sure to draw in those whiskers for Gigi's face on both sides. Now I'm using my black marker just to color in Gigi, which is a black cat. I know there's an option for you to draw in a red bow for Gigi as well, because Gigi in the movie does have a red bow in some of the scenes. So if you want to make this extra special and not just a regular black cat, you could use a red marker and just draw in a bow at this time, just two triangles with the tips touching. So that's another option. Of course, if you want to get even more creative, you could draw like the scenery for this drawing. So you could have Gigi inside a cage, a bird cage, as they do in the movie. Or you can have Gigi in a garden with lots of greenery, like flowers in the background. I wonder what kind of flowers would it be? Would it be purple lilacs or like daffodils? And then you could have grass and blue skies in the background. I think that would be really nice. You can also try to integrate this drawing into like a card for a friend. Could be Gigi holding a note or like sitting on a note on the back as to say happy birthday. So here I'm just using my Sharpie marker to color in Gigi entirely in black. And as I mentioned before, you can also make Gigi into a different color of your choice as well. Another option is to add on other accessories besides a bow for a bow tie. You could also do like a scarf for Gigi if you like, or like a bow on the top of Gigi's head. So there's a couple options. If you practice this drawing again, you could try like drawing Gigi's in different sizes. Then you can have a whole family of cats um, for your drawing, which you can have like a mommy cat, a daddy cat, and then a baby. So you can have a couple options here. So I think this one will actually look really cute if you do a smaller version of it right beside it with the tail on the other side. In which case you will have like a mommy Gigi and or daddy Gigi and like a baby one. So here just going back with my black marker making sure I color in within the lines and making sure I don't leave too much white spaces. So I hope you enjoyed this video of drawing Gigi from Kiki's delivery service. 
I really love drawing Studio Ghibli fan art, and I would love to hear from you of any ideas or suggestions for other artwork you would like me to teach you how to do for step-by-step -step drawing. I also have videos on Pokemon, uh, Sanrio characters, and also like characters that my toddler really likes. So I would love to hear from you of other suggestions for characters you'd like me to draw in the future. So here I'm almost wrapped up, just making sure I color in as much empty white space that I have left, but this is Gigi. Very simple drawing that I'm doing for the step-by-step -step drawing today inspired by Studio Ghibli's Kiki's Delivery Service. Thank you so much for joining me on this video and I hopefully will see you next time. Take care and stay creative. Bye for now!